it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. We're getting ready for the Lunar New Year, yay! <laughs> it's the year of the ox, and if you celebrate it, it's the day, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I only celebrate the way my family celebrates it, so I have to admit we probably have some quirks in there. But um, basically everything that you do that day is an indication of what your year is going to be like. So you eat good food, you have a great day, you don't want anybody who you don't like visiting you, <laughs> um, and you give money. So here's the thing. I, I have dreamt this up in my head, and so today I cut everything out, and I know I've already made a mistake, but like I said, it's just something that I've dreamt up in my head. Um, I've never really done anything like this, and I've never really seen anything like this for the Lunar New Year. So we're just gonna wing it and see what we have. But basically what I wanted to do was, I have done some Pringle cans, and I'm looking around to see if I have any right here, and give me one second. Okay, so I have one here. I'm gonna show you up in this camera. So it's a Pringles can. Underneath the lid, when you open this up, there's money inside, because you're supposed to give money to everyone under, um, everyone who's younger than you. So I thought this would be super cute, and I'm gonna show you down here. Um, it's so cute. It's the ox with lots of layers, and like I said, Year of the Ox 2021 with money inside. Money and Pringles. I can it get any better? <laughs> but this one, I was thinking that we would have some tassels down here. And then on the back is this envelope that we made um, that's going to have money inside. So let's see how, I mean, I made the envelope of just a tad too big. I'm so mad at myself. But anyway, because I think everything else looks so good. All right, so let's get started. Um, I have my glue gun going. I also have my mini heat press going, or the mini, yeah, the mini heat press. So we are going to do iron on HTV right here. So this is glitter HTV. I knew it was gonna be thin. It says Year of the Ox. Um, it was gonna be thin, it's a lot of words, and I didn't think cardstock was gonna survive. So. I love using HTV onto cardstock. This is um, the gold, metallic gold. It's beautiful, so let's do that. Since I already have that plugged in. So what you wanna do with this is, you wanna get enough heat for the whole thing to stick, to, you know, just to start activating the heat. Um, and then I'm gonna pull off this cover sheet. Cause I feel like it holds back a lot of heat so I want to get, like I said, I want to just activate the glue. And you, you saw there, it's just a couple seconds. And the nice thing about cursive letters is everything's connected. So you can see I lifted that off pretty easily, right? It's actually pretty good as is, but I'm just going to throw the Teflon sheet over it and give it a little bit more heat so that it really sticks on there. Um, this is paper. Obviously, it's not going through a wash. A lot of people aren't going to be picking at it. So it should... I'm just gonna feel it. Yeah, it's on there. It should be good. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna turn off my heat press, my mini before I burn myself. <laughs> okay, we're doing lots of layers. This is going to be, I mean, it's not that many layers to begin with, but it's going to look like it has a lot of layers. I just found this at the Dollar Tree and I love it because it's really, really thick. So let's start layering all our stuff. So it's just one big roll. So I'm gonna cut this and put it on the back here. And I'm so paranoid with the tape because I've had one really bad experience with Dollar Tree tape. It was practically not a tape. It looked like a tape. I It said it was tape, but it did not stay on. So I'm always a little nervous when I use this. Um, it wasn't this tape, it was the scotch tape, double-sided tape. But um, I'm gonna put this on and then I'm going to apply a little bit of my glue gun just to make sure it stays on there. Okay, I mean just, it's gold on gold. It's so pretty and I know the reflection is really bad in here. The light is, it's tough. Um, you know what, it feels like it's really sticky. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. Let's put one piece here. And I think on this one, I'm gonna do double. 
So I want to make it really pop out from this piece. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to lay it right on top. Okay, um, we'll leave it here for now. Let's put this together. So again, this is just an outline of everything. Um, and we're just going to layer it. So let's turn this around and layer this really well. So you want to press down, make sure that it's on there, then pull off the tape. So the Dollar Tree, I think this is the one that comes in a three pack. So it's actually pretty good. I'm very happy with it so far. All right. So make sure that this lines up and you can see it just gives it a little bit so that it's not flat. Okay. Then we're going to do the circles and I think on the circles on the first one, I'm going to do double just to really let it stand out because this is a pretty simple, I don't even know what I want to call it. It's sort of like a cupcake topper because it's going to be on a stick, um, but it reminds me, I don't even know what you call it, but it's the toys where you twist back and forth and it has these little balls on it and so it's hitting like a drum. I feel like that's the look I'm going for. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, on this one, because I want the tassels on the bottom, I'm not gonna center this. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. So it's gonna be kind of high because I want my little holes down here. On this one, let's do double on this too. I really want to give this a lot of layers and dimension. All right. And Depth, I guess. Um, all right. Okay, so you're starting to see, even though it's just four pieces of cardstock, right? It's starting to feel like up, right? Like, I mean, look at that. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Now we have this thing. It's so simple, right? But look how pretty this is going to be. Okay, so we'll put this one on. Just a lot of red and gold. And look at the, the depth of this, right? So this is about, I want to say it's about half an inch. I mean, it's just layers of cardstock, but it's going to look very substantial and we haven't even put on the envelope in the back. So this envelope is just a design space um, image and it has these fold lines. So I'm just going to fold it. This goes inside. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to tape this down. So let's get some double sided tape. And there must be a delivery truck. So I apologize for the dogs barking. <laughs> All right, so let's put this down. And okay, there we go. Put that down. We're gonna put money inside here. So on this, I feel like what do I want to do here? How do I want to glue this down? Um, I'm going to go with a little bit of glue so it gives me a little bit more control. I know where to put the glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit right here. I'm rubbing off the, the extra so that you can't see it there. Okay, and then this side, same thing. A 
look how pretty this envelope is. So this gold paper pattern is from Michaels. Um, I always tell you to follow me on Instagram because it's $20. It's the 12 by 12 pack. It has, I think this one has 24 sheets or 40 sheets, somewhere in there, 24 to 48 sheets. And normally it's $20. I wait till it's five dollars and I just buy a ton of them so it's really really pretty you can cut it I mean I just love this pattern and then the inside is just a red so it's just perfect for this um, uh -uh. <laughs> then so this is gonna go in the back I'm just gonna fold this I'm not really sure how I want to hold this down if I want to cut a slit or if I just leave it kind of open we'll see Anyway, that's gonna go behind here. So you can see it's a little bit just too wide. And this is gonna go up here a little bit more. The stick is gonna go down here, right in the middle. And then now we need to cut the tassels. So this is just gonna be a beautiful piece that you give to someone. Wish them a good Lunar New Year and you put money inside. I mean, I absolutely love this, the way it's looking so far. All right. so. I know the stick is gonna go down this middle piece right here, this middle hole. So I'm gonna hole punch. I didn't do this in design space because I didn't know if it was gonna look good or not. So I wanted to give myself the option of not adding tassels, but I think the tassels will look great. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna hole punch two right here and two right here. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, I want to be able to see the holes, so let's see. All right, so here's one. And then here is the other one. Okay, then I'm gonna go over and do these two. So let's see. I know normally I don't like to hole punch things um, because I want it to be very precise but I just didn't know how it was gonna look. And to be honest with you, I would have done three holes and I would have messed it up because I think I would have done one here and two right here, which then the stick would have been in the way. So <laughs> good thing I did not do that. All right, so let's work on this. I don't know what I'm doing, like I said. So let's unravel this and see what we have here. I've never even used this. I pulled it out. I didn't know. I didn't even know what kind of material I should be using. Um, so I'm gonna cut this because I'm not even sure. Okay, where's the? Okay, so here's the end. Um, so let's. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's be exact though. So let's use. I'm gonna use this. And I'm going to wrap this around. That way we have the same length for all of them. Okay, so here we go. Two, three, four. Oh man. I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> this is gonna be a hot mess for my next project because I'm not sure how I'm doing it. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wanted to do 10. I don't know if I can get there. Okay, so eight. That's what we're gonna do here. Um, how am I doing this? I don't even, I, <laughs> I haven't gotten this far. Okay, um, okay, let's cut off a piece. Like I said, I am totally winging this. I'm going to tie it right here just so that maybe it'll give me more options. Okay, I, yeah, thinking on the fly. Now you can see what, <laughs> So let's tie this a few times. Okay. So we 
we got it over here. Let's cut off the ends. Okay, so we kind of have something like this. Okay, this is a hot mess right now. So, maybe if I tie it like this, okay, let's see. That's not bad, right? Okay, so we'll tie it in the back so you can't see it. and then we'll trim it all at the end. Okay. See if I can tie it one more time. Oh my gosh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's do a few more of these and then we will um, we will even it out at the end. Otherwise, if we start doing it now, it's going to get too short and we won't have... S I... Don't even know what to say right now. I don't want to just cut it. Okay, here we go. I guess I did need to cut it. <laughs> okay, it's just like a spaghetti mess. Okay, here we go. Here's one end, but it's the tight end. My goodness. Okay. We will get there. I'm just going to cut this one. I'm going to regret it, but you ought to get going, right? Um, okay, so what did I use for my piece? I used this one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. seven, eight. All right. So I'm going to cut it here and then I'm going to cut another piece to time and give myself more room this time. Okay, here we go. and just scooch this down. Cut it off so we have ends. Okay, then we're gonna take these two pieces, I think. Oh no, I didn't tie, how did that happen? That did not tie tight enough. Okay, so let's tie it really tight this time. Okay, so this is gonna go in the back. so that we can't see the hot mess. Hopefully not. 
-hmm. Okay, so here is what we have so far. So it looks pretty, pretty cute. I, I like it. Um, I guess the question now is, I think I'm gonna do red and then gold. So let's get another one. We're almost there. Because all we need to do is glue the stick on and then we're done. Assuming I can unravel this a little bit. I know we still have the gold to do as well. Okay. There must have been an easy way that I just butchered this. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, and then cut off a piece to tie all these um, loops together. You probably should have studied this up before I did this. But it was all in my head and I was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay, so we've got that down. Pull this off. Take our scissors to the end. Cut it off. All right, so we've got our I still too loose. How did I do that again? Okay, so let's take that off and then tie it again to make sure that they're not coming out of the circle. Oh my gosh, am I not tying the right? What is going on? I feel like I'm not tying it correctly. Okay, let's try it again. Oh my God. How did that, what just happen? Okay, here, here are my loops. Oh my gosh. It's a hot mess right now. Okay. This was my original one. I'm cutting another piece. Okay, here we go. In to the back. All right, let's see. We are almost there. Do you guys eat anything special? I know my, my parents cook up a special meal, things that are supposed to bring us good luck, all of that, so, okay. So we've got two, one more, one more. Okay, so let's get our yellow. There's our yellow string. And let's get our eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more for good luck. Okay, <laughs> let's cut that off. I'm gonna move these to the side because it's so messy and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so we've got our pieces here. Let's just pull this out because I've had such bad luck tying it anyway. So I'm gonna take it off the thing and tie it here. So I think 
think that was better. And then my scissors, cut this at the end. Loop this in. We're almost there. New craft. Okay, here we go. I think these would actually make great birthday party favors. Um, I mean, obviously not this, but like a, a thank you for coming kind of thing. Okay, so we have all of our strings down. Let's flip this over. Let's put our envelope down. So our envelope's going to go up here so it doesn't interfere with the tassels at all. And I am, let's put the stick down. So our stick's gonna go right through here. So my glue gun is going. Still hot? Okay. Let me put a glue stick in. So this gives you, let me <clears throat> straighten this up. So you can see this line is where we wanna go down. So this one's super easy to keep straight. I'm just gonna put enough to get it down and then I'm gonna put more glue on to make sure that this stays on. So this is looking so cute though. Oh my gosh, how cute would this be for graduation? Cause this is reminding me of the USC Trojans. Um, and you can have their name and the year. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. Stick my glue stick in. Okay, let's put a lot of glue. We want to make sure this envelope doesn't fall off. Okay. So this is the front, the back with the money. We'll figure out, not sure how I want to do this envelope. But let's trim this and then look how cute this is. So cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's trim this up real quick. This is going to be like a haircut. You don't want to trim too much. Um, I'm gonna get my sharp scissors. Okay. So let's pull this out and just trim a little bit. It doesn't need to be like from Dumb and Dumber with the bangs from uh, Jim Carrey. So don't hold this too tight. Let's just get it so that it's kind of straight. Like this is perfect. And look, oh my God, I'm in love. <laughs> Thank you for your patience going through that. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was just kind of thinking it up. So you can see on the fly what that's like. I love this though. This. This has a lot of potential for party favors. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Give me the feedback. I know, I'm, I'm, expect, I'm bracing myself for the worst, so you can give me the, I can handle the truth. All right, see you later, bye. <laughs>